Hi from the International Statistical Congress. The second day is the day of the Sputnik event. We are here with the, the Director General of the, space, uh, the Russian Space Agency, um, Mr. Komarov. Today is a very important day for Russia. We celebrate for the entire space world. We celebrate 60 years from the launch of the first satellite, but we uh, also uh, have a look at the program, of the Russian Lunar Program. What are the major steps uh, of the program? We planned uh, robotic missions that we are going to make first, uh, first uh, end of uh, 2019 and we plan four robotic missions before 2025. Also we uh, plan our common work with uh, NASA, ESA and uh, other agencies for uh, moon research that is going to be the second step. It takes a bit longer and now we are in the process of discussion and uh, discussing technical requirements and uh, uh, what each country should do for the benefit of this project and the third stage that is more distant maybe but uh, we discussed with the uh, initiatives of uh, ESA, European Space Agency, about the Moon Village. Why we have to go back to the Moon? It's not go back, it's, it's uh, going forward. Uh, now the target is not to make just the step to be the first to put some flag or mm -hmm. something and then, then go back. We, what we discussed now in consistent program, how to develop and uh, how to work in uh, space and uh, objects and planets on, uh, in, in, in space. This is quite different story. It takes more time, it's more difficult because we need to solve a lot of problems with the uh, habitats, uh, with the system that support life and work in space for a long period of time. Uh, so we have, uh, we, we have to solve the radiation problems and the other problems, delivery of and supply uh, goods, equipment to, the, to other planets. That costs much, but we need to find technologies that uh, would be safe and uh, provide the, the guarantee of uh, safety of work for a long period of time. Uh, according to your program, when uh, we will see the next man uh, uh, stepping on the moon? And then the end of the next decade, I guess. So we don't have exact uh, days. We start with the ro robotic missions and the second half of the next decade, by 2030, uh, we plan to mend missions to moon and hopefully that uh, are going to be joint missions with the, and the European agency, maybe with other, other, other agencies. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello from uh, the International Strategic Congress. Uh, we are in Adelaide. We are here uh, with uh, Mr. Krikaliov. Uh, is correct my pronunciation? Right. Good enough. Good enough, okay. Uh, so, Mr. Krikaliov is uh, the uh, Russian cosmonaut who spent uh, more time uh, on space. Is it right? Um, yeah, it was a record for total time in space for 10 years, uh, but just recently Gennady Padelka uh, exceeded this time, so he is record ho holder right now. Okay, and today um, uh, uh, the uh, Russian Space Agency presented uh, a new program about the moon and uh, to the, first, uh, th the last step is to, to build uh, an outpost on the moon. Uh, as an astronaut, as a cosmonaut, how do you see uh, this program, this project? Well, this is uh, not new program. I think uh, some of the scientists were discussing a moon base um, maybe 100 years ago, even before humans start to fly to space, because uh, quite obvious that um, as soon as we start to uh, explore uh, universe, uh, as soon as we start to fly to space, sooner or later we will uh, settle something on the moon. So right now we just... Uh, try to discuss uh, uh, these plans uh, in real um, uh, as, as a real project because uh, now we have capability to fly there uh, but still uh, we have a lot of uh, work to be done uh, to make it happening would you like to be a lunar citizen uh, I think we will still stay uh, earth citizen but we will have a, a business trip to, to moon <laughs> Uh, you, I think you know very well Italian astronauts, so what Italian uh, space agency, what do you think about the collaboration could be possible to do it so with Italy, to go to the moon with Italy? Yeah, I think uh, European space agency in general and uh, uh, 
agencies inside European Space Agency. They do a good job uh, making all uh, our cooperation for space exploration. And I know that Italy was uh, involved in uh, creating structure for modules for International Space Station, uh, do many interesting scientific experiments. So I'm sure that Italian Space Agency and maybe Italian uh, cosmonauts, astronauts are going to fly uh, with us together uh, to Moon and we will do this as an international project. Thank you very much.